I had a recent conversation with someone who said, well, he was confident, but the truth of the matter is, he was really arrogant. So I feel led to share with you seven reasons that arrogance will bite you in the, well, you know what. Number one, arrogance will always be exposed. 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 3 in the New Living Translation. Stop acting so proud and haughty. Don't speak with such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows what you've done. He will judge your actions. Number two, arrogance will cause you to lie. Psalm 59, 12 in the New Living Translation. Because of the sins from their mouths and the words of their lips, let them be trapped by their own arrogance because they speak curses and lies. Number three, arrogance aborts wisdom from your life. Proverbs 13, 10, New Living Translation. Arrogance produces only quarreling, but those who take advice gain wisdom. Number four, arrogance knows no boundaries. Proverbs 21, 24 in the New Living Translation. An arrogant, conceited person is called a mocker. He is arrogance, knows no limits. Number five, arrogance at any level must be arrested. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5 in the New Living Translation. And let all their intellectual arrogance that opposes the knowledge of God, we must take captive every thought so that it is obedient to Christ. Number six, arrogance hangs out with some pretty nasty folks. Mark 7, 22 in the New Living Translation. Greed, wickedness, cheating, shamelessness, lust, envy, cursing, arrogance, and foolishness come from within a person. And number seven, wealth without a moral center. Wealth without a moral center. Ezekiel 28.5 in the contemporary English version says, you're a clever businessman and extremely wealthy, but your wealth has led to arrogance. Not arrogant, but have a humility in who you are and be confident in who you are in Him. And that's what I call getting to the point.